we are back at home and I'm going to show you what I got from the Dollar Tree, but Trolls is playing, so I'm just going to turn that down just a little bit because I have this one um, who's graciously testing my breakable objects I got. So, you know, he's just being, just banging those together to make sure that they work, so thank you for that. I'm going to show you what I got from my Dollar Tree shop with me and I'm very excited. It's Christmas season. Thanksgiving has not happened yet, but I'm just getting my Christmas goodies ready because I know Dollar Tree and I know people who like Dollar Tree and they will so wipe that store clean and there'll be nothing left for me, the procrastinator. So here we go. So this is not going to be in order because Leo has gone through it and unorganized it, but I saw this sign and it was so cute and like old fashioned. It's shaped like an ornament, and Santa isn't my favorite. I think Santa's creepy and um, gets all the credit for something he does not do, but I liked... Whoa, I just got very political into Christmas. And But I liked the green paint on the back instead, and it says Merry Christmas, and it has a ton of sparkles right there. But a little tip is if you just get some hairspray and spray that on there, they'll and let it dry and stick it. Um, the sparkles won't come off. So how cute is that? This is like some fake metal right here. I'm gonna put that on my door or maybe little baby Leo's door. This one, there's only one left in my store of these and I was so glad I got it. But it's this little snowman. I mean, look how big that is. It's like, you know, bigger than my head. It says, let it snow again with the sparkles. Just spray paint that with hairspray and it should stay. So cute. It has a foam nose. I mean, look at that. Adorable. And then I got some Christmas garland. I'm going to make a little wreath with this on my Dollar Tree DIY Christmas video coming next week. Um, just some tinsel. This is like the thickest kind and I'm trying to go with like a silver and white and red theme this year. So that'll be great. And then to match that silver I just got the red one. So I might make a kind of like a candy cane striped wreath. And to wrap what we're going to use wrapping around it is um, this circular wreath. These are awesome. These are so versatile. You can actually make a flower wreath and stick the stem straight into here or you can just do this and wrap them. That's what I'm going to be doing on my channel so stay tuned for that. So I got two of those. And then I got this little tinsel tree. I think we're gonna make like a little Christmas scene and maybe put this like in the back with some tinier trees next to it. Um, we'll see. Maybe I'll show you guys. Then I got this clear Christmas ornament and I'm, I'm gonna try to make like a homemade one with Leo's picture in it and hang it on our tree and then give one to my mom so she can put it on her tree. And then I watch my nieces every Friday so I think we're gonna do a little craft like this too and so she can make it with her um, mom and then hanging on her tree. Then I got, I've bought these before and I love them. They're like old fashioned milk bottles and I got two of them, Leo's holding one. And I'm gonna spray paint it white and I'll show you what I do with these on my YouTube channel, Dollar Tree DIY Christmas Edition, that's a long title, next week so stay tuned for that. I normally don't get tchotchkes because I just, they get lost in the house, I don't care for them, but look at this little guy. He was like, please take me home. <laughs> Yeah, I just thought he'd be so cute on my little stove and I could just look at him. Like Humpty Dumpty. I'll see Humpty Dumpty. Cute. And I got some candles. And this is the Luminescence. We normally get the old Williamsburg, but I've never tried this, so I don't know how the throw is, but the cold sniff. Sorry, it's in the scent Holiday Holly Berry, and that's like my favorite scent in the winter. And it's like a spicy... Cranberry, oh, like you want to smell? Like you can't smell that. It's so good. I really hope this works. And then I got the old Williamsburg uh, brand. It's called Cranberry Chutney. But it's a little bit different. This one's more sweet. Again, like like you can't smell that. Why am I leaving that up to you? And then this was not a Christmas buy, but I found these and immediately thought of my nieces and nephews. <gasps> Shoot, that's broken. Anyway, I think it's like a Triceratops. I don't think it's a rhino because of this thing, but I had to stare at it forever. So I got a silver one and a gold one, and my niece and nephew will love these. Um, they can put them in their room. I think they're like little coin things, but maybe they could just put them on their side table to like, you know, protect them at night. That's so creepy. Why did I say that? 
And then I got some Christmas ribbon. Just some simple ones with a little simple design on that. And then I might wrap this around, you know, my lamps or um, just simple things around the house to kind of Christmas it up here. And then there are some really cute dish towels and kitchen, um, I don't know, towels and oven mitts and things. And I got some videos of that in my shop with me. But I loved this one. It's a kitchen towel. I'm just going to hang it over my mm. oven. I don't normally use it because it's like not very you know good material but it looks so cute it says let it snow uh, Merry Christmas it has a little cardinal right there so so cute love that I got some Christmas stickers because I'm mailing out some holiday greeting cards so I think I can seal that with these on the envelopes you got Santa on a sled Christmas and there's a ton of these this was like the more old-fashioned vintage ones but they're like the modern ones with like the snow globes and the snowman and the reindeer but I thought these were so cute you got a milk bottle uh, that's cool huh and then I got these for me they say men's socks but I'm gonna wear them it says oh so no you didn't <laughs> it's like so cute like how cute is that my husband won't wear these socks. They like make him too hot, but that's so cute. I love that. And then I got this little Christmas tree. They come in white and green and it says it's 18 inches high and it comes with a little stand, but I think I'm going to put it in like a bucket or something and um, make it look like a planted tree. I think that'd be pretty cute. So stay tuned for what I do with that. And I got another one of the Christmas ornaments. Yeah. Thanks for breaking things. And then the only item of food I got was this Old Orchard. Sweetie, you're shaking. The... Yeah, thanks for breaking my thing. I got this Old Orchard Healthy Balance White Grape Peach. It says diet, so I hope it tastes good. It's 5 grams of sugar, 20 calories, but I'm a sucker for white grape juice. And this is like $3, $4 at Walmart, so I scoop that up. White grape juice is the bomb. I love that. And Leo can um, drink this too. Leo and I love the window stickers. So we picked our two favorites. We got these huge ones with like a Christmas cupcake and like a little reindeer and the mint. Little candy canes and Santa. Yeah, Santa. So cute. We like to put them on, on the bottom of the window on our screen door because he likes to just touch them and... Um, you know, check them out. And this is the last item, another window sticker. This one's so cute. This one's more 3D. You can, like, push on it, and it's, like, squishy. So you got, like, the penguin and the snowman and Santa and the candy cane and Merry Christmas. So I like to get, like, uh, sometimes at Walmart, they're, like, 98 cents or just a dollar, a dollar tree. So I have to get, like, four or five of them and put them on all the windows and my oven and the microwave because I like Christmas all around the house. Watch the paper cut. So that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. And I have not done one of these in a while, but I love shopping. I love showing you guys what I got. And it is Christmas time at Dollar Tree. And um, go out there and get them. Get the good stuff. Um, stay tuned for my Dollar Tree DIY videos. I'm going to release that on Friday this coming week. And I'll have, you know, two or three, two to four crafts. I haven't decided yet. And some of them might be kids crafts because I'll be doing them with my nieces and that'll be so much fun. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and please turn on your notifications so you can know whenever I upload a new video. I would love to have you subscribe. I appreciate all my subscribers. Sorry, I'm watching trolls. Um, <laughs> I'd love to have you subscribe. Thank you for watching so much. I really appreciate it. Please like this video and share it with your friends. So um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Get back up again. Whoa, well, something goes a little wrong. You can go ahead and break.